Fire to the cage, Miles Pitman Howard. So I had a chance to talk briefly with Miles yesterday at the weigh-in, and he has been training extremely hard. He's super focused, absolutely looking forward to get back in the ring. He was in the ring not too long ago, about four months ago. Um, he was at the Respect in the Cage event. He had a loss. He was TKO'd, so he's looking to turn things around right there. Again, Miles Howard, another fighter without a win in the win column. So... This is a pivotal fight. We want to see him uh, turn his career around, and I know he wants to see the same. Yeah, Miles Hitman Howard, no way, four losses. Three of those losses are by submission. So, and I did talk to him about that. He has been working more on his ground game. He knows that is a weakness. Uh, don't so much want to say a weakness, but just an area for improvement. Uh, the first that he is fighting, Vince, uh, is 1-0, and and Vince is a heavy-handed fighter. He KO'd his, his uh, first opponent about two minutes into the first round of his fight a few months back. Yeah, heavy hands is always dangerous until that guy is done. Punching power is the last thing to go, even when the fighter is gassed out. Another interesting thing that plays into this, an intangible, and is on one side, his opponent to the cage. you have an undefeated fighter, another guy <laughs> without a victory. A little bit more on Vince as he heads out his way out here. He's out of Big John McCarthy's Ultimate Training Academy. And uh, in regards to his experience, he was fairly brand new when he went out there and tried out with John McCarthy and impressed everybody there out at the tryouts. They said that this kid has a ton of potential. He's a prodigy. Uh, his first tryout was about three months ago. We picked him up, and he only had two months of martial arts training, but he was incredible. Um, he's now 2-0 as an amateur. He has one pro fight under his belt, which was a KO win, so I know he's looking to start his career off with some thunder. We heard the crowd erupt a little bit when he came out. Here's the tail of the tape. Both these men age only five year difference, not too much of a difference. Freestyle versus a striker wrestler. They're both local, both from two very strong camps. One of the factors you're looking at right there that could be a difference is the mental game. People say it's 97% mental. Michelle, no losses, undefeated mentality. Howard looking for his first day of salvation. That oftentimes can factor into what happens. Absolutely, I can. And let's not forget to thank our sponsor, Kramer Insurance, for putting the tail of the tape up for us. Again, KDTV.com, tune in for the event. There's a very determined focus, Vince Michel, in his end of the cage, getting ready to bang it out with Miles Howard. The action continues. Brought to you by the National Fight Alliance. Promoter Rene Garoppo, matchmaker Ruby Estrada. And sponsored by Dan Morgan, 805 Law Firm. Karate Watchers, Sayah Rama, and Gojo Fight Gear. The three judges scoring this bout are Jackie Dinkin, Lester Griffin, and Jack Bruce. And the referee in charge of the action is Mike Beltran. Our next bout is in the lightweight division and is scheduled for three three minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is wearing the red and black trunks. Official weight, 154 pounds. He has a professional record of no wins and four losses. Fighting out of Majeros and main events. Please welcome, from Woodland Hills, California, Miles <laughs> And now, his opponent across the cage in the red corner. He is wearing the red trunks. Official weight, 155 pounds. He has a perfect so just from the reaction of the audience, it seems to be that Vince Pichel is the crowd favorite here, or maybe has just a little more local following. Absolutely. The crowd erupted a little bit when he came out. When they announced his name, definitely erupted. Door closed. Our official, none other than Mike Beltran. 
Fighters about to get it on, and here we go. Touch of the gloves, and let's see some leather flying. Vince Pichel in the red with the black side stripes, in the red and white with black. Miles Hitman Howard. And he's nice going for that kick. front low kick early to wear that front leg down. Well, Pichel's heavy-handed. You want to take the plant leg away, that's a great game plan right out of the gate. As long as you don't step into one of those uh, straight rights. Right. But working that low kick will definitely be a good strategy if he wants to take that plant leg away. So I'm Miles, sure Pichel is savvy to that. I'm sure it is. There's a oh. big he sends him back, though. Pichel comes in to grab hold, looking for the single leg. Slammed by Pichel. Pichel puts Howard hard onto his back. Howard had double underhooks. He was trying to fend off the takedown, and he got slammed. Works Pichel his way now out. working. They were in dogfight position right there. Now he goes to side control. Pichel's got all his weight up on his upper half. Howard throwing some knees into the full mount goes Pichel. Howard working hard to try and slip out. This is a bad situation to be in because now Howard's got two choices. He either stays in full mount or if he rolls, he gives up his back possibly for a rear naked choke. He goes again in the dogfight, uses the wizard and gets out. Great escape. Pichel looking, pick him up and bring him down again. He tries, but Howard gets his feet back underneath him to block that slam. Inside knee. We have round one. Vince Pichel versus Myron Howard. And this thing started out with absolutely no pause button. Pichel pressing the action, but Howard doing a good job of taking care of business. You can hear both corners throwing for elbows while they're locked in tight like this. Dirty boxing to come into play here. Throwing a couple shoulders, elbows, knees on the inside of the thighs with a midsection. A lot of weapons from the clinch. There's and a hip toss by Pichel. Pichel has great placement of his body to put Miles Howard at a disadvantage having his weight moving in the wrong direction. Working hard from side control again. Stop the Darcy. Stop the head, Vince. See Pichel's corner yelling to him for go for a Darce choke right there. If he can stuff the arm in, it's a, it's a variation of an arm triangle, much like the Anaconda choke. Howard shoots for a leg. And Pichel slowly starts working to the side to lay down some heavy punches on the side of his head. Not like we had tested before, he's got cement in those knuckles. Howard's got to do something to get out of this. This is a bad position. Now Miles Howard trying to cover up. He may be saved by the bell. As Patel tries to hammer through his guard from the side. And Miles Howard just gets through to the end of that round, but Patel with a determined look laying down heavy hands on the side of Miles' head. So I would have to say that if we were going to, what would you call that? I say Vince Pichel absolutely takes advantage of that round there. Controlled himself around the ring, some dominant tosses, heavy hands. That was absolutely a Vince Pichel round. Even, even some of the things that Miles Howard did, he did in reaction and in defense against what Pichel was doing. And you get more points for executing an attempt than escaping because you're supposed to escape and be able to continue. Yeah, the escape is reactionary as opposed to being a proactive fighter. So, and there we go. We got to clear the ring and get these fighters ready to go. Miles Howard taking some deep breaths, trying to recoup. Vince Pichel staring him down like a pit bull from aside the cage. You're watching KDTV.com, National Fight Alliance, MMA at the Venturi County Fairgrounds. We are here for Resurrection. And here's the start of round two. Let's see if they keep the same torrid pace that they did in the first round, which they do. Good midsection kick. Another huge slam, bringing Miles back down. Vince Pichel with takedowns almost at will and forcible, forcible takedown. This is the third slam we've seen at him so far. He's trying to get knee on stomach there. He's looking to pass. Howard uses the cage to push off, but to no avail. 
You see Howard hooking the leg right there of Pachel. He's trying to keep him from stepping over. But Pachel working from side control right now. And now he's about to parry around back. Chooses not to. Stays in side control. I think he wants to keep pounding away. Trying to move. He's got his arm hooked. He's, yep, he's got the arm trapped right there. He's looking for a crucifix right here. Yeah, this is a on top crucifix. There it is. Pachel rolls the crucifix. And again, Miles Howard is becoming very good at keeping submission from happening. Howard's but got him not good from fending off That's shots. It. And Beltran has seen enough. Mike Beltran stops the fight yeah. in round number two. That was the big uppercut that came from the blind side that caught Howard's head while he was turtled down, set his head snapping back. I think that was the end of it for Miles Howard right there. So Pachel with relentless attack, the takedowns over and over, and then once he was on top, like a leech, would not let go. And that's the name in the game, too. The fights take place standing up. They take place on the ground. When it hits the ground, you've got to advance position or action or something. And Vince Pachel did not take one iota of that fight off. He was working nonstop. And the net result right here, Miles Howard goes to 0 and 5. So with that right there, I know you can see in the look, we're facing Miles Howard right here, disappointment. It was a hard fought fight. I just think the man he was stacked up against came in with way too many tools in his bag of tricks. Yeah, Vince Pichel was obviously very well rounded. He knew how to get to the ground. He knew how to handle it on the ground. And we saw for that one moment when he landed a clean shot, he knew how to handle it on his feet too, so. Yeah, and that's all it took was one clean shot to get through. The majority of those punches he was landing were partially blocked until that one snuck through underneath. Here we go back to Michael Vail. This bout ends at one minute and five seconds of round number two. Referee Mike Beltran stops his bout. For your winner by technical knockout due to strikes, Vince from Hell Pichel. Vince from Hell Pichel racks up his second victory. really took Miles Howard to task. Again, like we said, uh, just a tenacious pace. He worked all the time, and that's difficult when you never have a chance to stop thinking about what you're gonna do to stop the next thing the guy's doing. Something uh, George St. Pierre, I think, does all the time, and he's so fluid. He goes from one thing to another. Just give you a chance to stop reacting to him. That's complete dominance and control. Nice job by Michelle. Check out and do the watch. This $5,000 watch can be viewed at the Dojo 